Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today we have here another box from Caveco and so I'm very excited. It's kind of a big box. Um, I just received it today and I have to say that I am a little bit uh, worried about the content because it arrived like this. As you can see, it looks like it was... someone walked over it and crushed all the package. So, let's see what happened inside. This is delivered in my workplace, so I don't receive it myself. It is delivered there, someone receives it for me. Uh, so, there was no way I could complain about that. So, let's see. Let's see if what's inside survived or not. I have here, I don't have a black one, because what's inside is black, as far as I know. I don't have a black Victorinox knife. But I have my this grey Alox knife from 2022 and so let's use it and try to open these and see what is inside. Okay, maybe I will not use that because this is so, so crushed that I don't want to cut anything that I don't want and I don't need to be careful about the box itself because the box is, is not possible to be used again. So, I have to say thank you to Caveco for sending me this. Um, I thank you so much. Let me take this. I think this is kind of the invoice. I just want to take it out. Okay. It is what I was expecting. And... Let's see, because there is kind of an invoice with the list. So again, thank you so much, Kavek, for sending me this. I know the person I talked to about this is leaving Kaveku, so there will be now someone else working with YouTubers and influencers or how you like to call them and so here it is a nice postcard saying that this was packaged by Nicole I don't know Nicole actually I don't know myself anyone in person from Caveco and now that I'm thinking about that maybe someday I should schedule a trip to Caveco I think it could be fun so let me just take this destroyed box away sorry about the noise and here we have the package with this nice black Kavec stickers let's open this I love this black paper okay here we have five tins we have this large sticker which is very very nice I think I will make kind of a a new background just for my Caveco videos using some of this stuff but I'll talk about that someday soon I've not been able to make lots of videos but I'll try to be back someday I'm not going to say soon because everything goes out of the plan here is that kind of postcard which is kind of a cartoon with the vintage Caveco and the modern Caveco it comes with these, which is amazing for photographs. And here we have five boxes. Maybe I will take the boxes. Let me see how apparently crushed they are. And apparently they are not crushed, apparently. So that's a nice thing. This is quite well packaged. So I guess the package got destroyed, but not the content. Let me take this out of the way and now let's finally take a look of at what is here. So we have five packages that are the same. I guess I got three different writing uh, instruments 
width um, and two of them are duplicate so maybe there will be some giveaways or something like that in the future I cannot promise anything right now but I'm, I will try to do that soon I will just point the camera down a little bit more and then we'll continue Okay, I brought the camera down closer to the, to the pens or to the boxes and now let's take a look at what is inside each box. So we'll start with this one. They have no external markings that can uh, tell me what this is. Black sleeve and black long box. Now that I think of it, I don't remember of a black long box not sure i need to check that once i made a video about cavex port boxes maybe i can make another one so we have this black sticker this booklet and we have oh yes okay <laughs> i just got the one that is only one there is no duplicate so what is this we have here in this thing in this little sticker i think the information must be there so org so original bp ballpoint black so this is the new cavec original this is a ballpoint and i have to say that i like the design of this pen a lot i should have brought some more pens here next to me but <sighs> sorry i forgot uh but I will try to show it to you soon. I should compare this with the Kavec Special because they, I think they share some stuff in common. It, I like the octagonal shape. This is the ballpoint and I think it's a twist. Yes, like this. It has the retro clip and I think this model is really, really nice. I, I really like it. But I will make uh, a more detailed video. Okay, it has this nice Caveco um, refills. It is made of metal and it is quite heavy. I, I It feels solid. I like it. So the, about the, the shape of this, I would say that this reminds me kind of a mix uh, between older Caveco pencils, like the special pencil. Let me check because I think I have here some. When I don't really know if what I'm going to be sent in a special moment, in a particular moment, sometimes it's hard for me to prepare the video with everything I may need. But let me go here and try to show you what I mean. I don't have the, the modern special here, but maybe I can show you some more stuff that may be interesting. Let me, let me, let me, let me see. I'll put stuff here. No, this is not what I wanted. This is more similar to that. Okay. Let's see. So this is a Caveco special, an older one. You can see the hard rubber is... Let me take this out because it's messing up with the focusing. It has. It is very heavily discolored, but it has this knurled part there. And it has a very, I would say, kind of a vintage look with this knurled part that you see on the modern Caveco special pencils and ballpoint pens. But when I'll make the review, I'll show you more items. It will be easier for me to prepare when I know what I'm going to do. Let me just zoom in. Okay. Um, so this one is, it, it looks a little slimmer here. It looks fatter here and then it goes slim again. And when I look at this, it, it is the same kind of overall shape as the special. This is a pencil, but if we look at 
older Caveco Sport. This is a, an old one. Uh, pencil. You'll see that. Let me just retract the lead. It is more similar in a way when you look at this end part. I, I think at least it, it looks, it seems to me more similar. In the shape, so it is octagonal here, it goes in kind of a rounded part with the logo there. But this one has this sizzle, this uh, guilloche imprint or engraving. And I have here another one, this is a Caveco Sport also. And it is a more modern one, I'm not sure from when, maybe the 70s, sorry, I'm not so good with the pencils and stuff. And when you look at it, you have, instead of Kavec Sport, you have Kavec Original, it says Germany there, it has... And you can see that the shape is very, let me put it down, the shape is very, very similar, the overall shape. But this one has a clip and it is longer because the ballpoint refill is big. So this is really a nice one. I think it's nice with this matte finish. I kind of enjoy it. Let me say another thing. I don't know this for sure, so I'm saying stuff. I hope Caveco doesn't get annoyed with me because of this, but when I look at this and I look at sticker, I see some potential here because they say original ballpoint. But they don't say original ballpoint only, they say original ballpoint BK, so black. Does it mean that we'll have some other colors? I hope so. I'm not saying we will because I don't have any inside information about that. But I have to say that I wish it would be true. Now let's go to another box. So this one will be different for sure. Because there is no duplicate of that one. And here we have, I wanted to, to have a special, no, this is the 250, I wanted to save it for the end, sorry, this is the 250 again, so they sent me duplicates as I was thinking, sorry about that, because I want to make this, okay, so this is one of this is one of the ones that interest me. So the kind of box is exactly the same. Of course, that would make sense. And now let's see what we have here. Same box, same sticker, same booklet, but this is a ballpoint pen. This is a fountain pen. Sorry about that. When you look here, you'll see again, original fountain pen, black F, 060 and that's the interesting thing now let's take a look at the pen because i'm really really excited this pen uh was this was released uh i think in 14th september so two days ago or three days ago um and i think this is an interesting one but it was uh, there were some images that leaked on the internet before long some months ago so i was kind of expecting to see the pen i would i can say it has kind of an odd shape because it's not really what i it, it's kind of strange i have to say but not in a bad way i'm just saying it's kind of strange um strange is not the good word strange as unexpected now we have Caveco Original, Kavec Original here. This is the fountain pen. The 060 that was written there is about the nib size, which means this is a 060 nib. I'll be back for comparisons very, very soon. This will be another long, it, it already is a long unboxing video. So this is the 060. It has a very interesting shape and I will talk about it in a moment. I'm seeing it for the first time. I saw a couple of videos online already, so I'm very curious about this. And let me bring here one of the 250s. 
I hope this one is, yes it is. So same box, same booklet, same everything. The sticker here says original FP black with F and 250. So the 250 means it has a 250 size nib. And what does it mean? It means that this pen is larger than this one. I'm not sure if it is fatter. Yes, it is. It is fatter than this one, just a little bit. Is it longer? No. Maybe one millimeter or something like that. But they are very, very similar. Just one a little fatter than the other. And when we unscrew this pen, you see there is a bigger nib on this pen. Let me uncap both. I love the way the, the cap feels on the pen. And you'll see when they are like this, they are... Let me, let me put them down. They are of the same size. Almost. This is a little bit longer because nib is longer. But if you adjust for the place where the section ends and the nib starts, you'll see that the section on the 060 is much bigger, a little bigger, not much, and so the pen is a little bit longer uh, if we forget about the nib. So th this, is, this is really, really interesting. Let me open this. It has a cartridge and another cartridge there, so it doesn't come with a converter, but comes with a, an empty cartridge and a cartridge that you can actually use but it will fit a full-size converter because it can fit two cartridges back to back. Now, let me just give you some information because it may be useful. I will leave links below for these pens at uh, Apple Boom Store. And I, f I found that the ballpoint pen costs 80 euros, but it is really well made. I will have to compare it. I don't have it here. Again, I was not thinking about, I, I was not expecting they would send me also the ballpoint pen. Um, this has something that reminds us of the, what's the name of the pen? Sorry, I'm not that good with, with ballpoint pens. I'm looking around to see if I can find it around, but I don't think it is. This is very messy because my I'll explain it later in some other video, but everything is very messy now. Here, okay, I found it. The, the Caran Dash 849. So when we look at it, it has something in common. Eight facets, also a clip, but this one has... You click to open it and this one, you just do that. The Caran Dash has lots of different finishes and this one is only black for now i hope to have some more news so you can see there are some similarities but i will talk about that in more detail when i'll make the review so this will cost 80 euros this one will cost around 90 euros the 060 and the 250 will cost 90 euros now let me just compare a little bit more not just the ballpoint pen but that i already compared but the other pens and about the other pens i want to show you some stuff i don't really know how to start i didn't really prepare this video before so i'm just going while i'm thinking so this the fit of the cap is very good it starts to be very snug at this point so you can line up the facets and it really rests better in that place where this facet aligns with the clip which is the facet up to the up from the Kavec original uh, logo this one let me see also goes very nicely but it stops with the facet with the Kavec original logo facing the clip so they are not the same maybe this is kind of a random thing and i will need to check the other ones to see if this is random i have the duplicates or if this is something that just happened but i will talk about that 
later when I review. So as you can see, the pens are mostly the same, but the, I think they are very interesting because the cap has the same kind of ending as the the top of the ballpoint. They have the Caveco logo. I can see here also that the logo is not aligned with the clip and I guess that for some people this may be kind of a problem. For me it isn't, but just to let you know, it's not aligned. This one not aligned also, but they are on the same position both. So, not sure. It's not a problem for me, but some people it may be. So, it doesn't have any logo on the bottom. It has eight facets and then the, the section is not our shape hourglass shaped like the Cavex Sport, but it is a longer and cylindrical one, very straight one. I think this is, this looks nicer because of the size of the clip of the nib and the size of the section. Again, when you put the pens flat, the nibs don't really line up perfectly like this. They are a little bit on the side. I don't think that is a problem again. I don't really care about these details. I'm just showing you because you may care about them. For me, these are not problems at all. And maybe you can just twist the nibs a little bit to get them in the position that you want. Because you can do it. Um, I wouldn't. I prefer not to mess with nibs if I don't need to and this is something that I don't need to do. Now let's talk a little bit more about this. We have a pen, this one, that has a number 5 nib. This is the 060. I have to say that there is no information if the pen is the 060 or the 250 outside. This is the 060, so it has a number, the Bok 060 nib, which means it is a number 5 nib. So this nib is the same nib that you'll find on the Caveco Student, for example, in the Caveco Dia 2. You can see the same size of nib and that you can find on the Caveco Sport, for example. You can see it there. It is all the same size nib or the same nib size. And the 250 has the Bok number 250 nib, which is the nib that you will find on the older, no longer made Caveco, um, how are you called? Sorry, I forgot the name of this one. Uh, Caveco Elite, it's written there. I'm kind of stupid today. And there is also, where is it? Here, the Caveco Supra that also has this kind of nib. For example, the Caveco Lilliput has that size of nib. So this nib is really bigger than the number number six, number five, number six. So they are really different. Now let's go on some other comparisons. You have here the 250, which is shorter. Let me put them this way. It is shorter than this Elite. And if you have the Supra that is not posted, I think they are about the same size. Yes, the Supra is just a little bit the Super is just a little bit longer, but they are kind of similar sized pens. Then you have the 250, two, sorry, 060 and the Dia 2 and the Cavec Sport. And you can see the Cavec Sport is the shortest one, while not posted. I also brought here the Cavec Perkeo, but Caveco Perkeo is a different kind of thing because it has triangular shaped grip, it has a number 5 nib and it has much more facets on the barrel than those. 
Now, I have something that I find interesting that I want to mention. First, I like to have the big nib and you may think, what is the point of making a, a pen that is... Actually, both pens are not very big and why... What is the point of making two pens that are almost the same size just with two nib sizes? I think that makes lots of sense. People, some people like pens that are a little thinner and this is a little thinner. You have a long section so you can hold the pen whenever, wherever you want and I, I think that's a very positive thing. I think they have a rubber hole ring there which is nice to have a nice feel when you cap it. And this one is also very comfortable and it is a little thicker. But why doing this? This is something that I really like. Some time ago I made a video when I, where I suggested some ideas for Caveco and I suggested to have a Caveco Dia like this and have a, a Dia in kind of a large size with a bigger nib. So it's kind of the same concept here but I would go with the, also with the Dia shape. And, and actually it happened a little bit almost like that with this pen that is the Elite and there was the another one that I don't remember the name it was the Elite and the, I can't remember right now that have, that have a very similar shape but the other one had a smaller nib and it was thinner I don't have that pen so I cannot show you now this is the kind of idea that you have also here on the a Parker Centennial Do Fold, which is a fatter pen and you have a International Do Fold. They are of different ages, so they have different, some different details, but forget about them and think they are the same pen and they are. You can see they are almost the same size, but one has a bigger nib than the other and one is fatter than the other. So the same kind of concept and I really, really like it because when you look at them, you don't find that much of a difference, but when you, when you hold the pens, you can feel it. And I feel the same about these. And I just hold them, just, I just held them for a very small time and I can feel the difference between both pens. They are not really heavy. I find that the ballpoint is heavier than these pens. Okay, what do I want to talk more? This video is awfully big, but sorry about that, I can't stop that. When I, when I saw the photos of these pens online, I thought the concept was strange, in a way, because of the shape of the cap. I'm not used of this at the. Uh, I'm not used to this kind of cap on a Caveco pen. Only, really, on the Perkeo that has also faceted cap. And where is it? Like that. And now you have these. Where is it? One of these clips that you can put on a Perkeo and have it like with a clip, but. It's the only pen that has this kind of shape, which is fun on the cap. But it doesn't really remind us of the Perkeo, just eventually and very slightly. But when you uncap this pen, does it remind... Let's start with the smaller one, with the 060. If you uncap it and you look at this, what does it remind me? To me, it reminds me of a Caveco Sport. And why? You have here a Caveco Sport. Caveco Sport is much shorter and it is rounded, not faceted. But if you post Caveco Sport like that, this one is shorter and posted, but the design is very similar. So it is rounded here, round here, and faceted there. So it this one and posted looks like a Caveco Sport posted. And you can try to post these and they post very high. I don't want to scratch this matte finish. And okay, they are not meant to be posted really. But I would say that this pen 
reminds me a lot of the design of a Caveco Sport posted and I think that's a very fine idea it kind it's kind of an evolution of the design of that one because this one is intended to write with post-it and so the overall aspect of this one will be like that if you didn't know that this pen existed if someone was holding one like this you like this and the section that is longer you wouldn't see it because it was being held like this you could think it is a Kavec sport posted the only thing that makes really dif a real difference is that there is no logo on the bottom of the pen and if there was i think it would be a little bit nicer okay but this is a very 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 long video about a pen or two or three pens that i will review soon i don't want to waste more of your time it's very very long video again as i told you i'm really anxious to ink these pens and start using them because i want to show you how they perform and to talk more about the details how you perform i think you can how they perform i think you can already think how they will because the nib is the same on the cave export and this nib is the same on the super so we already know those kinds of nibs so i'm really interested in knowing how the pen will perform so again thank you to caveco for sending me the caveco original ballpoint the caveco original 060 and the caveco original 250 and thank you for sending me duplicates the pens for reviews um, maybe the duplicates will serve as giveaways in the future i just want to put here next to them the dia which is an acrylic pen and it is shiny and glossy the elite which is a very nice pen also and i think it's kind of a transitional pen between those the sport and the supra now i want i look at this and i i i, I just need to have uh, black Supra and the black Perkeo. So you have here, you have, because there is a black um, Lilliput. I don't have one, but there is a black Lilliput. Imagine a black Lilliput, a black Supra. I think it would be nice. So again, thank you so much, Caveco, for sending me this pen. I will leave links below so you can find these pens online if you want to get them. And this is all I had to show you. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you again, thank you again Caveco fans, Caveco company for sending me these and we will talk again soon, I'm not saying very very soon, I'm not sure if I'll be able to make more videos until the end of the month of September, but I'll try. So this is all, I hope to meet you soon, bye.